Hi everyone! Today I'm doing a makeup look finally. Um, I have been wanting to put up, um, you know, some hair tutorials that I'm supposed to do and like more makeup tutorials, but I just had not been feeling like filming um, for quite a while now. And I'm sorry about that. I mean, I don't even know <laughs> if you care, but um, I was feeling bad about it. Um, because usually I like doing that, and I just was not in the mood to film myself. Um, so now I guess I finally am. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be showing you this look. Um, and well, I guess this too, because I have it on. But um, this look, it's... I wouldn't say it's exactly like Mickey Yonda's short program uh, makeup from this year. But I would say it's inspired from that. I tried to go off that. Um, but yeah. So that's what this is. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this. And we'll go ahead and get started. And as always, um, I prime my eye with Beauty Control Shadow Control Cream. Okay, now, Mickey Ando's makeup is the one that I'm doing. For Mickey's look, it's pretty much just a bunch of grays, so I'm going to be using these grays here. So I'm going to start out by taking this... Whoops. I'm going to start out by taking this um, light yellow, goldeny, topish color right there and going all over here all up onto my lid or crease area and lid and brow bone and then I'm gonna wipe that off I'm going to use this same brush again. Um, and then I'm going to take this very silvery gray is what I would call it. Um, it has more gray than silver, I guess. But take this silvery gray color right here. And go right along your lash line. And then do that on the side. Now, um, take a little bit darker of a gray color. And I'm going to use that one right there. Oh, sorry, my phone's ringing. I'm not going to answer it. But please excuse it. I'm sorry. Um, and then I'm going to go up in here with it. Okay, and then do the same on the other eye. Mmm, I'm so itchy. Okay. Gosh, it's so hard to tell on Mickey. I'm just gonna bring it into my eye on my lid here a little bit more. Um, and then I can always blend it out. If it's too dark. Okay. Get the excess off of that. Always keep a paper towel handy whenever <laughs> you're doing makeup. <laughs> Shame will disappear. Okay, now... I'm going to take my little blendy brush, or 
I use it as a blending brush. I think Ego Tools, Tools calls it a highlight brush. But I use it to blend. And I'm just gonna go in there along the edges just to make them softer. And then blend this a little bit so it's not such a harsh color change. Now um, you're just going to line a very thin line um, on your lash line. I think I'm going to use a gel liner. So I'm going to use Maybelline's uh, Eye Studio in Black is Black. Um, and then this Eco Tools pencil, which I use for eyeliner. Stay like as close to your lashes in, as you can get. And I did make it a little bit thicker um, at the edges. And then how to kind of connect um, where I was out here to underneath my eye here. Kind of like that. And just bring it down this way. And I know I'm pulling on my lid, but I'm kind of in a hurry now, <laughs> so that's just how it's going to be. Also, I forgot, um, tight line your eye. Oh, and the pencil that I'm using is Beauty Control's uh, Color Freeze Eyeliner in Midnight. Okay, so that's a bit dramatic, a little bit more than I wanted, but... You know. Oh well. Um, for my highlight, I'm going to actually be using a matte highlight. And it's part of Wet n Wild's um, Vanity. Little six thing. <laughs> um, and it's this color right here. It's just a matte vanilla color. And it's super duper pigmented. Then I'm using the color next to it uh, as my inner corner highlight because I like something with shimmer there. Okay, and then lastly, um, curl your lashes and mascara. Okay, so for my lips, um, I used Bird's Bees uh, original chapstick and. I also use this um, Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Stain, and the color is In the Buff, 05 In the Buff, and I really love this. It smells amazing. Yeah, it smells really yummy and tasty, um, but I really like this a lot, and it's actually, I wish it was light like this, but it's not light like this, um, but it's still a good color. And then over it, I have... Um, Revlon's Pink Whisper as a gloss. So it's not exactly Mickey Ando's look because uh, her eyes are kind of a little bit lighter, I think, and not as heavy on the eyeliner as mine are. Um, but her lips are darker than mine are, I think, too. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm going to go do my hair now and finish getting ready. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.